Hello and welcome back to the lingerie discussion we're having on the Odoasem Watch and Learn series. In this section, we're going to talk about panties. In Ghana, also known as Pyoto or Dross, or I went to Akosimo International School, we called it Goro. I don't know if they call it that anywhere else. But um, we're just going to talk about the different types of panties and a few tips on when one particular type would be preferred. So the most basic type of panty is the classic brief. Although I'm being a sexy shop, we don't have any here, but it kind of looks like this one. But the difference is that it goes a little higher. So the band here is a little bigger. When you wear it, it tends to sit either on or under your navel. So it comes a little higher. And we call them granny panties. That's the classic brief. And this one here is, um, it's a high cut brief. So it's just like the classic brief, but you notice that the leg, so the classic brief leg is cut. Maybe it would go here, but then this one comes higher. So it gives you just a little less coverage and it sits a little lower on your tummy than the classic brief would. So this is the um, high cut brief. We have the control brief. This is an example and what it controls is your belly so it sucks in your belly a little bit it looks like this when it's on okay that's a control brief and then we have boy shorts this is an example of boy shorts so they look almost like boys boxes they're different types this is just one type some go a little longer different fabrics you can have lacy boy shorts but once it's full coverage like this, covering almost the full buttocks, the boy shorts. Um, next, we're going to talk about the tanga. So this is an example of the tanga, super sexy, and it falls, it gives you more coverage than a thong, but then less coverage than your average bikini. So it's somewhere between a thong and a bikini, is the tanga. This is a sexy, lacy one. And then um, thongs. This is an example of a thong. Another example of a thong. Okay. Minimal coverage at the back. So the whole, almost the whole butt will be exposed with the thong. Just this pretty lace showing. And then this here is a G-string, which is the least coverage of all. So it's literally just a string. And sometimes it hides in the butt crack, so you can't even see anything when you look at the back except the straps. So this is a G-string. Um, we have hipsters. So this is an example of a hipster. Okay, it sits low on your waist. And then you notice that the side is, it's bigger than the regular bikini, but then it's smaller than the boy shorts, that's it compared to the boy shorts. So it's somewhere bet between boy shorts and bikini. We didn't talk about bikini. These here. This is a bikini panty. It looks like the bikini one for swimming, but the fabric is different, made from lace or cotton or whatever. It's not made from that spandexy fabric that's used for swimsuits but these are bikinis this is another example of a bikini panty okay um, we have seamless panties like this one and they don't have okay so this compared to this you see on this one it obviously has a seam okay but this one there's no seam so the seamless panties they are laser cut so there's no sewn edge. So it just lies flat on your skin and doesn't show through clothes. So this is an example of a seamless panty. And then we have crotchless panties. And it's just a panty with no crotch. So it's good for easy access. So this is a crotchless. It's a bikini panty. Actually, no, this looks like a hipster. But the fun part about it is that the crotch is open. So you don't even have to take it off for penetration to okay. Okay, so this is a crotchless panty. 
So we talked about classic brief, control brief, boy shorts, tanga, thong, g-string, um, hipsters, bikinis, seamless panties, and crotchless panties. And um, like there's just a whole lot. So when you are building up your lingerie collection, depending on your personal style and the types of clothes you tend to wear, that should um, inform the panty choices you make. But it's good to have a little bit of everything because different types of panties work better with different outfits. For example, if you're wearing a bodycon dress, something that's very tight fitted, you might want to go with a seamless panty which just lays almost flat on your skin so it won't show through. Or you could do a G-string, depending on how large you are. Because if you are very meaty and fleshy, you don't want to go naked under your dress. But if, if you are slimmer, you can get away with wearing a G-string under, under your fitted clothes. Um, if you're wearing like a short dress or something that flares up, the wind could blow it up. You want to go for maximum coverage. <laughs> so that in case of an accident or an oops, nothing is really exposed. Um, for everyday comfort with normal clothes, this is cotton, very breathable. You can go with your plastic briefs, so you can go with a bikini. If you're wearing something that... Um, sits low on your waist or on your hip you don't want panty line showing through what's that thing they used to call it i i, I don't remember but it was a, oh i'm away or something like that when people would intentionally have their string showing i really don't think that's cool so you want to wear like a low rise a low rise panty that's not going to show up above above and then some days you just want to look sexy and personally I think when your bra matches your panty, it works very well. So this is just an example of a matching bra and panty set. But play, play with color, play with textures, play with different types and explore and see what works best for you. Thanks for watching.